Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United save is number eight this episode. Um, in terms of uh, this one, we have a mountain to climb in the Champions League, as you guys can see. 5-2 down in the quarterfinals after that first leg thrashing at St. James's Park. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to turn this leg around, the tie around. And the rest of the episode, you should expect us to play against Liverpool. Until we conclude this tie, we don't know who we're going to play for the last game. Um, hopefully, we can be playing in the Champions League semi-finals. Uh, if if not, then we're probably going to have to settle for just um, the FA Cup, uh, the Premier League. We got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. So, yeah, <laughs> there's pretty much only three trophies to play for at this point in time in the season. Someone mentioned about changing the tactics. I'm quite comfortable using three at the back. It's just when we get the injuries, we get the uh, suspensions, we don't have the squad depth to be rotating. That's the only reason why I feel like there's a bit of a dip in performance because without those injuries, we were really dominant, surprisingly, especially with the group of players that we currently have. And we've also had a few comments in the comment section below suggesting a few players um, for the transfer window that's coming up in the summer. And I, I feel like when it comes to the right back role, we're not really going to address that simply because we don't really want to be using a four at the back system so i don't know where that's going to leave the low and aaron wan -Bissaka, but we're mainly going to be targeting center backs that could be hybrid right backs or hybrid left backs because whenever we switch the system up uh, during the game i want them to be able to adapt but we're mainly going to try to use the three at the back so in terms of confidence rating this is how we're getting on we're at moderate right now i'm quite surprised about that one um overall 79 uh, our profit margin is almost completed it's at 77 percent uh, we're blowing the domestic success out of the park right now except the fa cup one in terms of the long term we're definitely going to complete that and that's why i'm surprised that we're only at 79 because this is the best position manchester united have been in in quite some time especially uh, since um, the departure of Sir Alex. So we're going to be without Scott McTominay in this one. Uh, I think we have to go with the four out of the back one. We just don't have enough personnel to fill two CDMs. And right now, the CDMs that are left, uh, I'm not too sure we can trust them. Uh, especially uh, Amrabat. He's working against us. With Kobe Mainu, I don't think he's bad. He's just not. Um, <laughs> he's just not seasoned yet. He's just not a seasoned player within our system. Uh, we've got a few players that aren't really sharp for this game as well. I'm just getting all the excuses in before uh, things get uh, go from bad to worse. We're going to try to start uh, Levi Cowell. I feel like he'll be a good addition to the back four. Him and Varane next to each other will probably work perfectly. We can even go with Luke Shaw and Varane. Uh, so we're going to have Malassi on the bench just in case we may have to switch things up at the back when it comes to the back four. In terms of Hoyland, he's quite tired. We're going to start with uh, players that have energy that have legs in them so we're gonna try to use ivan tony um rashford he, we might have to give him a bligh we might have to give rashford a bligh here because we don't have any left wingers we could probably use martial but he's not going to be as effective as um as rashford but we're going to drop martial on the bench just in case okay we're live from the theater of dreams we have a landslide to turn around right now it's not looking good for us newcastle united start the second leg with a free goal lead uh, all it's going to take is that one goal and then the second for us to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, it's going to be on us to work from there. Uh, let's get off to a flying start. See if we can get the first goal. Hit them early. Going with the four at the back formation. I feel like we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. They don't have the wing to exploit no more. There we go, Luke Short. Ball in. Anthony, knock that down. I thought Bruno Fernandes was going to be there to hit on the volley. Running down this right-hand side. He's got Livermento on him. We're going to give it to Bruno on the inside. Ivan Tony. We're going to slip him in behind. Ivan Tony's one-on-one -on -one with Nick Pope. And he doesn't hit the target. Oh, the semi-assisted shooting. Precision shooting. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, it's done me there, Mount. Marcus Rashford. He's going to turn. We have Anthony. Oh, he's aiming for the back post. Didn't have the accuracy there, Rashford. Joe Linton wins the aerial duel between him and Mount. Mainu follows up with the head up. Here's Luke Short. That to Rashford, return it to Short. Go on, think this into the middle. Ivan Tony, get ahead on that. He does. Nick Pope is forced to make a save. Oh, Gordon's just turned to Aaron Wambasaka very easily. Very easily. Oh, come on, well done, Wambasaka. Too much strength for the Englishman. Oh, what has gone on there? Why would you lock onto Kobe Mainu? And there's a shot from outside the box. Oh, now that makes the save. Ridiculous passing around the back there. Rashford, make the run. Overlap and run from Luke Shaw. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. We've got the bear of Kieran Trippier. Go on, Rashford. Keep going. Don't slow down. Don't slow down. Play the ball. Rashford's on the inside. Rashford. Nick Pope makes the save again. 
Uh, it's good stuff. Positive football so far. Only 20 minutes played. We'll look. To Anderson. Oh, the sucker's just... Oh, he's quite slow on this game, wan Oh, come on. What, what a block there by Levi Cole. Anderson. Plays the ball into the back post. Jolinton takes it down. Got Luke Shaw on him. Luke Shaw holds him up. Will look. Gets the shot off. I thought that was going to go in on that. I didn't even bother diving. He was really confident that was going wide. There was no confidence in his manager. Uh, right now, it's looking even more difficult the more we miss chances. Oh, come on, main. Oh, this is what I mean. We need, we, need, we need reinforcements. We need real reinforcements. Because uh, if we can't carry the ball out from the back, then what are we supposed to do? I don't play lump the ball up the pitch type football. Anderson, we might have to adapt. That's probably my problem. It's probably our problem right now. We're not adapting to the players that we have at our, our disposal. If we do that, simplify the game and go get back to the basics, maybe things might get better. But right now, Newcastle United, they're piling on pressure. I'm going to float that to the left, Luke Short. Rashford, go on. Sean Rashford on the same side. Haven't really combined enough in my eyes. Let's go. What is going? Why is it at that Aaron Wambasaka is out on out on the on the wing? Yeah, when Anthony's supposed to be out on the wing, and like we've got a right back that's going forward, and he's just doing stupidness. He's just doing plain stupidness. Like, what are you doing that high up the pitch? There's no need for a player that's not that good on the ball to be that high up. Because when when things do go wrong, we're gonna get hit on the break, and he's got he's not got the pace. He's not got the marking ability to track the runner in behind. There we go. Rashford. Ivan Tony bearing down on goal. Ivan Tony gets the uh, first goal in the, the second leg. It's 5 3, 66 minutes on the clock. Is there enough time? That's the question. And speaking of Ivan Tony, he's now off for uh, Rasmus Hoyland. Marshall's replacing Rashford. We've got a few changes at the back as well. Uh, Delo, not Delo, sorry. Malassa's on for Luke Shaw. We also got Harry Maguire on for Varane. And uh, that last one was due to tiredness. It's not. Because I feel like Varane's playing badly. We've kept a clean sheet up until this point. There we go. Anthony. Go on the inside. Livermento. He's off the field. The, the, the turning from Anthony's just too slow. Ball over the top. Kobe Mainu. He finds uh, Rasmus Hoyland who's in front of goal. 2-0. It's 5-4. 5-4. 71st minute on the clock. We've got about... 19 minutes, 19 minutes to draw level. And all of a sudden, the long ball is seeming like the tactic to go for or go with. So maybe simplifying the game and not trying to play like a, a well-oiled machine is the way to go. Oh, come on, are you serious? Are you really serious about your footballing career, wan -Bissaka? He's just allowed him to just run past him without any effort being put in to stop him. wan has got a goal. The low's on for wan -Bissaka. Ball goes in, ball goes in. Deal with that. Well done, Martial. Anthony returns it to Martial. Go on. Bruno. Back over the top. There's Martial. There is Martial. He's up against the cells. Martial, he should be bearing down on goal. Martial bearing down on goal. It's 3-3. It, no, it's not 3-3. Free, free. So it's 3-0, 5-5. Five, five. Sorry, I got a bit confused with myself. I got a bit confused with myself. We turned things around. I don't know how we've done it. Four minutes to go. Four minutes to go. I told you guys, don't sleep on us. It's the theater of dreams where we don't stop dreaming. Come on, man. Uh, look at that. He takes the ball in his stride. And uh, Lascelles, he didn't have the legs. He didn't have the energy. I feel like Newcastle United, they committed a lot of players forward for that corner kick, which allowed them to be susceptible to the counter-attack, lacking energy. And I can tell you from now, our midfield is, is knackered. We've not had the quality on the bench to even make midfield re replacements or changes. It's uh, mainly from the back and uh, in the forward line. Oh, good block there from Maguire. Another, oh, hits the post. Willock, Willock, you must uh, became a party pooper there. The low, oh, are we gonna avoid extra time? <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the last question we have to ask ourselves. That's three minutes is added on. Three minutes is added on. We've got two minutes of it played. Let's go, Anthony, Mount, Martial. Oh my God, how has he not scored that? Pope with a game-saving save. What a, what, a, what a stop. What a stop. I was going to say what a breakaway, but really and truly, the stop is more mesmerizing. The breakaway was really good. Almost got a goal out of it.
It's been a boring first half of extra time. We've gone back to goalkeeper so many times already. Five minutes to go. Oh, good interception. Martial. Menu. Fernandez. Oh, there we go. Rasmus Hoyne get that first touch in. He gets the better of Lascelles. Oh, try to drill it into Anthony. Here's Martial. Amrabat. Sofian Amrabat. Anthony. Menu. The low. Rasmus Hoyland, Rasmus Hoyland, Rasmus Hoyland, Rasmus Hoyland, 4 0, 6 5. Oh, there we go. There we go. The Dane has done it. The Dane has headed us into the lead. Look what it means. Look what it means. Premature celebrations. We need to calm down. We need to calm down. Oh, come on, Levi Cole, man. Extend your leg even further. I don't get the animations for slide tackling. Like, I was clearly trying to get the ball. He just. Oh, come on, he's. You're going to give him a card for that as well. This referee better not start his disgraceful uh, officiating. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that to happen again. Come on. Deal with that. Maguire's uh, been fantastic at the back since coming on. Rasmus Hoyland. Anthony. Hoyland's movement has been uh, a breath of fresh air. Rasmus Hoyland. There we go. Rasmus Hoyland drills it in. He's aiming for Anthony. Martial on the back post. They're going to have another go at this. Oh, now they're coming, come on the area. We don't need him to. We don't need him to. Probably did. Uh, but he does make a save. He does make a save. Look at them. Look at them. They're getting a bit too gassed. Uh, they, they need to realise there's 40 seconds remaining and they've got another corner kick. How many corners are they going to have, though? That's the question to ask. Come on. What is that, man? It's just so many free headers. And the low is the guy that's marking Isaac. Like, where's Maguire? Every time I try to switch to Maguire, I keep switching back to the low. Come on, come on. Referee blow that whistle. Referee blow that whistle. Go on. No? Nope. Okay. We've made it through. We've made it through. I don't know how we've done it. Somehow, we've turned this game around. Second half, we came out of the blocks firing. And like I said, we went back to the basics. We tried to play a, a bit too advanced in the first half. We got caught out. Kobe Mainu couldn't carry the ball out from the back. So we just started lumping the ball up the pitch. Incredible performance. Incredible performance. Even Martial... Martial um, was outstanding on the left-hand side. <laughs> it looks like he can still play off on the, on the left-hand side. We're not going to keep doing it. Obviously, we had to resort to it for this uh, encounter, but it's a shout from now until the end of the season, especially if we don't have Garnacho uh, for the rest of the games. Uh, man of the match was on Nana. He played really well. Hoyland came off the bench to score two goals. Fantastic. Martial came off the bench to get himself a goal. We got an assist from Kobe Mainu, assist from Bruno Fernandes. Spectacular performance all round. Rasmus Hoyland definitely came off the bench and made a huge difference what a difference maker he was uh, especially in uh, in extra time he had a lot of energy he was hounding Lascelles and so was Martial okay so we're three days away from the trip uh, to Wembley we're not going to be using the four uh, three at the back formation we're going to be using the four at the back formation we are going to work on some of the, the sharpness and the fitness because especially Rasmus Hoyland he is really knackered and I feel like it is going to take away from his sharpness so we might have to use him as a super sub again because I want him to be as sharp as possible if we can have uh, Ivan Tony starting uh, even though Ivan Tony didn't start um, or didn't get started until the second half I feel like he's uh, quite useful his movement is quite good just need to work on his finishing a bit better or get better at finishing with him <laughs> maybe I should just say that instead uh, Levi Cole again was struggling to get him match uh, match sharp at the same time as match fit um, we are going to keep finding these issues or running into these problems in the back end of this uh, campaign Maguire's in the headlines for his fantastic displays as well his form is a uh, been quite good especially uh, in the three at the back system we're Some turning the form around which is really good uh Amad Diallo is a player that I want to speak about because he did um, start off quite well when we first introduced him into the first team this season he's got about uh, 10 goal involvements and 26 appearances which isn't bad he's on a 6.43 average rating so next season is it most likely will be making break for him and we've got a lot of wingers that are returning well not a lot of wingers we've got a <laughs> we've got a specific winger but well we have two wingers returning. Some that's not free. That's a, that is a lot. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. That is a lot. We got Mason Greenwood, Sancho, and Pelistri, Pelistri returning. So we got a lot of um, um, decisions to make come the summer. Obviously, we're gonna get rid of Mason Greenwood. We're gonna sell him for profit, and then we're probably gonna have to think about Jane and Sancho. What we're gonna do with him, Pelistri? Do we have time to build on Pelistri? 
are, are we going to be patient with him? That's the question I have to ask myself as well. Um, I don't think a, a winger is going to be a priority in the summer unless we sell all of those wingers or majority of those wingers. In terms of the CDM role though, we definitely need to address that. Kobe Mainu is just not ready. He's just not ready. Amrabat is not good enough. And um, yeah, we need to think about a high profile CDM that could come in. Obviously, he doesn't have to necessarily be better than Casemiro. He can probably work towards um, becoming better than Casemiro but he just needs to have the ability to turn out and play out from the back because that is a that was a key thing that was a key problem that we had against Newcastle in the first leg and in the first half of the second I can waffle for days in the menu but I want to get this over and done with the semi-finals of the FA Cup is here and uh, we're going to be facing off against Liverpool at Wembley I just I just feel like we're going to get this one over the line. We've had a good record against Liverpool so far this season. Um, they've obviously had uh, flashes in the pan against us, but it's never been enough to get a, a victory over the line. So why not? Why not take it to them? So I like to see a lot of green on the bench. Uh, Martial, he's a shout for a left wing again. Uh, we're going to have um, Diallo. Uh, he's a shout for right wing. He's not in good form, so we're not going to start him. I think Cole, uh, he played well against um, Newcastle United. We're going to start him again. We're going to rest... Uh, Martinez or oh, we can play Martinez in CDM uh, I haven't done that since FIFA 23 uh, let's see if we uh, can get a, a tune out of him in that position in fact we can drop Kobe Mainu uh, to the reserves I know some of you guys will probably be questioning that decision but I think Scott McTomney is a informed CDM out of the two the pressure is on us the pressure is definitely on us the players are in the tunnel now getting ready for this matchup uh, I just hope the back line is going to be as um, as sound as we were against Newcastle United. I feel like we're going to leave a few openings. Because I, I don't want to sit back and hit them on the break. I feel like we've done enough sitting back at, in certain um, points of the season, certain points of the campaign. At some point, we just got to fancy ourselves. We are league leaders right now. We're in pole position in the FA Cup. I feel like we're the best squad right now around. Oh, come on. Oh, we'll just allow Robertson to get past to run like that. What's going on there? Dodgy gameplay. We're just going to move on from that. <laughs> I thought uh, a free kick was going to be given. Ran again, being exploited for his lack of pace. Anthony trying to find Tony. Going to try again. We find him the second time around. Tony up against a, uh, oh, up against a uh, Van Dyke. What's Tony done there? Freaking hell, man! I was going to go with his left foot, and he's still on his right foot. Salah grabbing merch, plays it forward. There's Darwin Nunez. Darwin Nunez in the penalty area. He's going to get the shot off. He tries to cut back into Mo Salah. Well done. Cole is on him. He's on him. Oh, what are you doing? What's Lissandro Martinez doing? <sighs> Take the ball. I'm passing it to him. He's not taking the ball. Had to put in a block there. Okay, Liverpool are getting too much action in our half. Come on. Hook it up the field. <sighs> no one's there. Endo's head up. Drops to Matip. No one could get under control until McAllister. Oh, what is Wan Bissaka doing there? Cut back, Darwin Nunez in front of goal. There's a block, there's a goal. Uh, for my Callister, yet again, yet again, he strikes against us. He, he he knows how to score against United. He knows where to place himself as well. Uh, Liverpool have taken the lead at Wembley. United fans are distraught. They're really distraught right now. It was just one of them occasions where Liverpool just spamming, uh, spamming shots, spamming um, uh, passes into the box and uh, something fell for them and they took it. Uh, that, we can't really fault them for that. Uh, now Liverpool fans are just singing their hearts out at Wembley. Feels like we're at Anfield. Oh, come on, Luke Shaw. Come on, Luke Shaw. Skin on a yellow card. Graven Birch plays up the line. Luke Shaw's nowhere to be seen. And of course, we're forced to use Cole to cut across to try to stop this block, uh, this cross from going in. Ball goes in from Nunez. Head off from Graven Birch against his former teammate, Onana, who makes the catch, makes the save. Half an hour gone. Still trailing. Seven shots for Liverpool, one for us. Wan Bissaka plays the ball up the pitch. Go on, Bruno. Just haven't got the legs. I just don't understand what are, what are the fitness coaches doing with these players. I really want to find out. I just looked at the statistics. It's ten shots to one. Ten shots to one. Liverpool. They're 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 the better side. Let's just say that hands down, they're the better side. Uh, but that doesn't stop us. That doesn't stop us from getting forward and uh, trying to create chances of our own. The second half is underway. We need to be positive. There we go, Ivan Tony. First shot off. Allison makes the save. That's a positive there. Oh, uh, Trent. He's holding off Rashford. Graven Birch gives the ball up. Anthony. Gonna give that to Ivan Tony. It's gonna be forced to run out wide. He's really knackered. Really leggy. Come on. 
get the cross off. I don't know why his tiredness stops him from swinging his leg to cross the ball. I don't understand. That's not how football works, bro. Caught in possession. We need some competition for Rashford. He's got no competition down that left-hand side. And he just plays even when he's playing badly. Rashford actually wins the ball. He might be listening to me on the touchline. Bitch about him. Let's go. Oh, ball played into Bruno Fernandes. Oh, Matip is not even bothering to run. He's not even bothering to run. Bruno Fernandes right in front goal. Bruno. How has he not scored that? Wow. Wow. Bruno's hit the post. Bruno steps up to take this free kick. He's going to put his foot through it. Doesn't work. Rashford. Rashford, you should be winning the ball. We've doubled up on Trent down that left-hand side of ours and not come out of the ball. Mo Salah drills it in. Come on, clear it out. Why is he taking a touch? That's the problem. Defenders take touches instead of clearing the ball. Corner kick conceded. Corner kick taken. Mo Salah crosses it in. Van Dijk plays on the edge of the box. Liverpool still retaining possession. Come on, Konate. Need to catch them off guard. Konate is deep into our half. Jota, good block there by Cole. What a save by Onana. Good defensive display there from the players at the back. They've done their, their task in the second half, keeping it at 1-0. We've just not done enough in front of goal. 73 minutes on the clock. we only got 17 minutes to go. Probably need to make more changes. Thiago's replacing Graven Birch. Klopp is a, a step ahead of us right now. I'm just getting so... I, I might have to change the tactics again. It's just so frustrating. Wing play is not working. It's definitely not working because these guys, they don't know whether they want to stay out wide or be narrow. McTomney. Plays the ball into Rasmus Hoyland. Rasmus Hoyland in front of goal. Now Rasmus Hoyland come and put this in. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is going on? What is happening here? Wow. I thought I was in. I thought I was in again, man. If we don't win, it's, it's due to our poor finishing. It's definitely due to our poor finishing. Defensively, we've done well. Because we've kept Liverpool at bay. We've had like three or four chances in the second half and we've not done anything with it you know Anthony's just useless just um, he's just running narrow as well look how much space he has out wide look how much space he has out wide he runs into the middle like there's not not four Liverpool defenders in the middle what is going on with the movement man these guys are set up chicks these guys are real set up chicks on the wing Rashford and Anthony have been piss poor throughout this game we've lost 1-0 against Liverpool and I feel like it's due to the wingers yeah, we missed a lot of goal-scoring opportunities. I, I, I can take that on the chin. But these wingers, they've definitely not helped Rasmus Hoyland or Ivan Tony. They just, they're playing for themselves. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have been in a, a dire position in the first half or going into the second half. We were just really poor, clearing our lines in the first half. They caught us off guard. And uh, while Onana pulled off some really good saves, he couldn't stop the McAllister opportunity from going in. And we had opportunities for ourselves. We didn't take them. We've been really, really poor at taking chances in the back end of the season, back end of this campaign. And we just get we just get inconsistent performances. McTomney, he did what he could coming off the bench. Same with Rasmus Hoyland. Again, Ivan Tony and, Ho and Hoyland had the best opportunities for us. But Rashford and Anthony did, did not help. Uh, I don't know how Anthony ended with a 6.8 because he was non-existent out there. And just like that, the 25th of May, only Liverpool and Norwich, they're going to Wembley for the final showdown. Again, it's wishy-washy performances. Uh, we, we go in 5-2 down against Newcastle, 10 things in a round, win 4-0 and then go and lose 1-0 to Liverpool. Uh, typical stuff from our players. The legginess in the squad is actually getting to the players because we lost 1-0 against Sheffield United at home after that Liverpool game. We ended up winning 2-1 against Burnley at home also. So after 35 games, City only have 75 points on the table, meaning they can only get 9 points from their remaining games. That would only take them up to 84 points. Uh, goal difference goal difference keeps them in it because we're not too far ahead of them but if we was to win our game in hand we're definitely going to clinch the league title so we only really have to focus on the champions league which is coming up next and we're going to be playing against the likes of barcelona we're going to be away from home for the first leg semi-finals i hope that we could get over the line because uh, yeah champions league final in the in the first season will be splendid in terms of barcelona of course they use the tiki taka system in terms of their midfield it's not as scary as uh, as it may seem on paper I feel like we can keep Pedri and um, Frankie de Jong quiet. If we can use our pace to overrun um, Romeu in the midfield and maybe overload that area, maybe we could get the better of him. Uh, 
they do have a really good back line. And to be fair, the forward line is really deadly. Uh, I feel like it's going to be one of those games where you can't predict what you're going to get. You just got to play the match and just hope for the best. In the last five games, uh, they won um, four and only drawn once. In this next game, Onana is going to start against his former club. He's going to be in goal at the battle of the low for Rand, Martins and Luke Shaw. Our midfield three consists of Mount, McTomney and Fernandes. Martial starting off on the left-hand side. We have Hoyland as our number nine and on the right is Anthony. So this, this game is up and running against Barcelona. They were the side that done the honours and kicked off. Luis Diaz, former Liverpool winger. That's where he's gone. I thought Luis Diaz was still at Liverpool. That's who was missing. <laughs> uh, but now we've got to deal with him at Barcelona. Well, while he's playing for Barcelona, poor pass by Martinez. Intercepted by Rafinha. Well done, Mount. Got the real dog in him in this game. Fighting for the ball. Martial on the ball now. Down this left-hand side. Going to chop on the inside. Cancelo tries to hold him off. Mount. Going to float that to the right referee handball. Thank you. Gonna take this free kick short. Mount. Anthony. Back into Mount. Found by Mount. Anthony thinks the keeper. What a goal. What a goal. I, I was just so confused. I didn't know what was going to happen. What a goal. What a set piece, in fact. In fact, that is actually a set piece because that came from the from the whole free kick. Uh, we did a quick one to Mason Mount and Anthony. Dinked the ball back over the top. And uh, we caught Testegan off guard. I thought Testegan was going to come and get the ball. And if not, maybe the centre backs was going to clear it. I don't know what Rafinha was doing in the defensive third there. But we punished them. Brilliant football there. Anthony shutting me up. Shutting me up after the criticism I've been giving him throughout this whole episode. Oh, why Why go for Mount? Like, McTominay's right in front of you. Uh, Martez does well to carry the ball. He just overdoes it. Overplays it. Rafinha. Finds a Lewandowski. He's still got a bit of pace on it. He's got an eye of the needle when it comes to his shots. I need to be careful. Don't uh, allow him to get any angles. Freely. Cancelo cuts it back. Lewandowski. Well done, uh, Varane. Experience was needed in that uh, scenario. Well, I was actually thinking about going to ground. <laughs> There's, uh, sometimes standing a player up like Lewandowski is just tricky because he's strong as well. Rafinha. Ball played into the box. Well done, McTominay. Alert to that. Hoyland. Anthony, referee, watch him. Got Anthony on the ball. McTominay going to float this to the right-hand side. Take this down, Delo. Take this down. Ball played early into the box. Anthony on the volley. What a save. What a save by Ter Stegen. Uh, Anthony is actually hard to keep um, at bay for Barcelona. Ooh, crossed in, back post. Martial, I thought he was going to jump up for it. Kunde heads it. Clear momentarily, Luke Shaw can get under control. Luke Shaw and hit hard on low. Rasmus Hoyland gets on the end of it to Stegen with a save. Saves it with his leg. 1 0 up right now. Eight minutes it took us to take the lead. And so far, uh, we haven't doubled it. Haven't looked like doubling it in quite a minute. Let's uh, get things shaking in the second half. Anthony. Oh, ball roll. Disgusting on <laughs> a Cancelo. Where's a. Uh, I was going to say Bruno, but he's over there on the right-hand side. Keep forgetting he's a right-sided uh, central midfielder. Short over the top into Mason Mount. Mount back into short. Maybe an early cross. Ball goes in. Cleared away by Cancelo. Luis Diaz can turn. Come on, Delo, get back to position. Lundowski. Franky de Jong. Plays it to his left. Diaz. Diaz uh, has three reins down this left-hand side. We're just backing off. Backing off. He, he doesn't know what he wants to do. He doesn't know what he wants to do. Oh, uh, he finds uh, Lewandowski. Imagine if they score from this. I'm going to look like a pleb. I'm going to look like a pleb. Uh, imagine if they score from this. Oh, well done on Nana. He stopped me from looking like a pleb. Uh, I, I was there encouraging uh, Luis Diaz. <laughs> it looked like he had a plan all along. Araujo. Rahul's definitely going to be a player that we're going to we're going to target in the summer. But he's definitely north of like 80 million. Oh no, shouldn't be focusing on that. Lewandowski <laughs> gives us a reminder, bro. <laughs> you got to focus on the game. <laughs> Lewandowski fires a shot out on Nana. He makes the stop. What is that? Bit of movement from Rasmus Hoyland. There was a gap that we could have played it into to find him, but he's just standing still. 
Well, still not owning and dominating the second half. Frankie de Jong, Delo's allowed him goal side. Come on, Delo, just put a proper foot in, man. It's been really quiet in the second half defensively. What is that? Nah, what is that? Delo needs to be sacked. Oh, this is just shocking. This is just shocking. Absolutely shocking. Oh, no, that's just... That's nonsense. That is nonsense. That is utter nonsense. That is utter nonsense. How do we win the ball and then he just gets the ball right back and just fires it? It just makes no sense. It's 1-1. One, one. I hate it when the game does that. I hate it when it does that. Because out of all the opportunities that they've had to score, that made the least sense. We won the ball on numerous occasions, but the ball just wouldn't stick with us. Can't complete passes when we're trying to play it forward. Only the sideways passes seem to be connecting. We can't win a game from playing football sideways. Why is Onana diving? The ball ain't even struck. This game is just doing the most right now. It's doing the most. Hold it. De Jong. See what I mean? We win the ball, but we, it just doesn't stick. We just give the ball right back to the opposition. Ivan Tony. Anthony. Over the top. Not not to Martial. To Ivan Tony. I'm done, man. I'm so done with the... I'm so done. I'm so done. We need to take off Anthony. And we need to take off uh, Martial. We need pace. Martial's getting tired. Gonna take sh corner short, as per usual. No club identity from corner kicks. It's just simple. Spam short corners and do the most from the byline. I hate it when the game's game plays like this. And it's going to be a 1-1 draw at full-time whistle. There it goes. 1-1. Barcelona managed to get, um, salvage something. Well, if anything, we managed to salvage something because Barcelona, they were all over us in the second half. They, like I said, it could have been five. They could have been five one up come the end of the game. But yeah, it's just um, a lot of uh, poor concentrations. The levels completely dropped um, coming into the, going into the second half. And then, yeah, Pedri took full advantage over the weird mechanics. And the thing is, uh, I feel like this game is just not registering things because this, this was completely one-sided. Barcelona were all over us from the, the, the back end of the first half and in the second half. And uh, we've ended up with a high XG compared to them. 1.9 to their 1.3. They had more possession than us performance-wise. Man of the match was uh, Rafael Varane, um, 7.5, 7.4 for Martinez. Uh, Anthony's on the, he ended with a 7.1. I feel like the only thing that he did well was the gold. Um, uh, I feel like Mason Mount played better than Anthony, but even then Mason Mount was poor um, in certain um, occasions, especially when trying to win the ball back. Or Nana, he sh in fact, or Nana should be man of the match. He's getting robbed. <laughs> I've actually noticed that like, Nana's been getting um, underrated after every game and a lot of the time Onana is the one that's either keeping us in the game or he's the reason why we've won the game okay we're at the end of the episode now as you guys can see um we only have very few games left to play in the campaign if we play against Crystal Palace and get a draw we clinch the league title which is um, an important one I think we can go on to win but I'm definitely playing that off camera and when it comes to uh, returning for episode 9 uh, we're going to be playing against uh, Barcelona for the second leg of the Champions League in the first leg of the quarterfinals we were 5-2 down we turned things around in the second leg we're in a, we're in a better position we were only a level uh, with um with a, with a goal apiece in terms of the rest of the campaign i feel like we're going to play one game um in the premier league um when it comes to the next episode and then we're going to play the champions league final if we do make it through if we don't make it through that's going to be rather embarrassing and to be fair we've not been playing really well in the back end of the campaign so we can't really expect to be making it to the final because yeah it's just a, a lot of um uh, issues when it comes to fitness sharpness and discipline because players have been getting sent off but yeah if you made it this far please remember to smash that like button sub to the channel if you are new and hit the notification bell so you're notified when i go live premiere video or upload one this is going to be released on a sunday so i hope you're having a, a, a good sunday hope you're having a relaxed day and i hope you enjoyed this episode um in terms of uh transfer targets keep leaving your suggestions in the comment section below we are after a wing we are after a winger on the left hand side we're after possibly a winger on the right hand side if Diallo and Pellistri don't work out if Sancho comes back and he doesn't work out we're definitely gonna have to go for uh, more than one winger and the defensive midfield role is a is is a priority that's main priority uh, going into the summer so let me know in the comment section below if you have any realistic transfers and um, players that aren't too overpowered like let's say players are um, 83 under in the first season give me your suggestions in the comment section below and i'll um adhere to that and see if we can bring in the right player in the summer but yeah take it for now peace